Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, I'm gonna actually turn down people now if people are loud enough. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, uh, hello. Welcome. My name is Sin the Oracle, and I'm your host tonight. We're gonna be romping on some dance, old fashioned style. Dance on uh, romping. <laughs> Today in the voice chat we've got Miles of Acoustic Miles. Hello! I'm back! Miles is back! I'm back! And Nanners of Itney Nanners! Shut up, who's asking? <laughs> um uh so yeah, we got we got a small crew here today, but you know what? It'll be fun. You get a you get a couple voices each, perhaps. Uh, and just just have fun with it. What happened last time? I'll tell you what happened last time. Please Miles? do. I can't remember. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bitch, I'm fresh out of the ER. I can barely even <laughs> shit up. What the fuck are you talking about? You remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> what could you? What it's the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Um, geez, what happened last time? Uh, uh, we, uh, so, oh, that's right. We were fucking railroaded into making the stupidest goddamn decision that I think oh, I've yeah. ever, been, oh, oh, yeah. ever been railroaded into making in my entire life. Hated that shit. Yeah. Uh, Railroad and all railroads. Yeah, truly. Uh, so yeah, that shit happened. Basically, uh, uh, God, what, what? So we were accused. Makoto was accused. And then he was gonna die, and then he didn't. Oh, because he was saved at the last minute by that by, AI? Uh, yeah, by Alter Ego. And then, and then he ended up in the, in the garbage. The, the garbage storage? <laughs> ended up in the garbage. <laughs> ended up in trash storage? Like, you've got incinerators in the floors of most of your rooms. Yeah. Just, you know. And but then, okay. uh, Kyoko came down to save him. They're getting out. Where did we, we... I feel like we ended in the middle of a moment. Which we is... ended when we were about to start this other, like, I guess, trial, because we, like, kind of challenged yeah. Manimo, That's right? right. We we went to the gym and challenged him. He challenged his bitch ass. Lip. Yeah. Lip. Lip. What's up, Leperoni? Nip nips. <laughs> uh, Lep, in case you missed it, uh, Miles did say to me, "Bitch, I'm fresh out the ER. I don't know what the fuck is going on." <laughs> and I feel like it's important for you to know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna repeat it to every person that comes in. <laughs> I hope you do. I'm just at my normal level of not knowing what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Same as every day. Why All right, hurts and I'm under sled. Just tell me what's happening. <laughs> so, no. So, so right now we're gonna yeah. choose who Makoto is, and wow. I think just off the bat, I haven't played Makoto in weeks. Please, because my one request was make me anybody but Makoto tonight. Absolutely. All right. Anybody else I'm game for. Even Absolutely. even, even this talky bitch right here. <laughs> hey, Moon. You're choking. Moon. Moon. Thank you for popping into chat. Also, in two minutes from now, it'll be a time I'll forget. Yay. <laughs> the special in minutes, time. In two minutes from now, I'll forget that it's the time it is. The special magical drug time. <laughs> oh, good. Good, I have drugs. Um, okay. Actually, no, I'll just, I'll keep the, the D4 out. Okay. I'll never live it Um, I'm trying to figure out what kind of voice I want to do from a co tarot do I want to do something like this? <laughs> what? Do I want to do this for three hours? You're gonna absolutely burn your throat out there. I sure hope so. That would be really. 
Maybe I should just make it Carol Channing. Jazz baby, little jazz baby, that's me. What else does she say? What's one in 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 one, in one and two? <laughs> I wish I was making those lyrics up. <laughs> I could hardly believe it, but somehow I ended up not getting executed. <laughs> Darn. I still had my life, and we still had a chance. Overall, things turned out way better than expected. If it's even, it's Nanners. If it's odd, it's Miles. Okay. That's a two. Oh, okay. Kyoko noises. <laughs> yes! Oh, let's not talk about bread. <laughs> Once again, I was in Kyoko's debt. This feels like a Monokuma pilot of Makoto. <laughs> <laughs> Kyoko, thank you! Everything I have right now is because of you. However, don't thank me just yet. The real battle is still ahead of us. Yeah, true! <gasps> But still, I'm glad it worked out. I wasn't sure if the enemy would accept my proposal. But honestly, why would the mastermind agree to that? I mean, they don't stand to gain anything from a final showdown, do they? So... They had no choice but to accept. Huh? Because... It's all because of that one moment that the Mastermind let down their guard. Like I said. <gasps> Lee Action! Oh. So when was it that the Mastermind let their guard down? So... I wasn't there to hear it myself. But do you remember what the Mastermind said? <laughs> Makoto is trying really hard to be woo-woo, but it sounds oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. They said they had hijacked the airwaves to broadcast our school life to the outside world, right? Yeah, they definitely said that. I, I remember. <laughs> what did you think when you heard that? Pretty hard to believe, right? Pretty hard to remember. Well, I mean, the idea of actually taking over the airwaves seems so unbelievable. You don't exactly read about something like that happening very often, so it's hard to imagine. In other words, that kind of thing is extremely difficult to pull off. However... And yet, somehow, the Mastermind was able to do it. You know what else is hard to pull off? Leather pants! In other words... Become... Oh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Become? Become? But think of it another way. There must have been some reason they had to do something that difficult. A reason? So... They had to show the world something, no matter the cost. Us killing each other. They wanted to show the world. It would seem... The Mastermind has been very adamant about not killing us directly, but forcing us to kill each other. And all their rules and regulations were designed to encourage that. Yeah, that makes sense. If those stupid regulations didn't exist, nobody would have killed anybody. Another one. So the Mastermind's ultimate goal was to make us kill each other and show that off to the world. But why? Correct. To prove a point, most likely. Uh, is this just someone having like a really twisted ego trip? Prove a point? Okay. The outside world has a name for the Students of Hope's Peak, right? A certain concept? 
You're talking about hope, right? That's right. And for those of us who represent hope to kill each other and sink into despair. The mastermind wants the world to see that, to try and prove that despair is better than hope. Yeah, get used to this. That's their goal, as the ultimate despair. That's right, I remember you saying we're going to be saying hope and despair a lot. Used to this one? I don't feel like the mouthfeel of these words. <laughs> what? They want to prove that despair is better than hope? But that's, that's ridiculous. It's true. You're right, it is ridiculous. Completely irrational. It's the kind of thing that nobody but those who call themselves the ultimate despair would devise. That group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. But is that really their only reason for making the rest of us suffer? I know how angry it must make you, and yet... That same motivation is what led to the mastermind revealing their weakness. What? In other words... God damn it, we got out. <laughs> because their goal is to broadcast this killing game to the world. The mastermind has had to be more particular than is reasonable about their own regulations. If the mastermind simply ignored their rules, this wouldn't have been a game, but a one-sided slaughter. At the very least. At least that's how those who are watching this would have seen it. And that's why the mastermind couldn't kill any of us themselves? Indeed. That is precisely the reason. I'm so smart. No matter how much they may hate what I'm doing, I haven't violated a single single one of their regulations. Ah, uh, you wouldn't violate a singer. <laughs> you wouldn't violate a singer, would you? <laughs> it was you. Oh, sorry. Junko broke the rules, so she was punished. But in my case, they couldn't lay a finger on me. Right. So instead, they tried to use the class trial, following all their proper rules, to get me killed. They began a trial that didn't have a right answer, then made me up to be the killer. But even that didn't work. It's true. Yes, thanks to you and your psychic premonition. <laughs> thanks to you and that weird fever dream you had. And due to that failure, the mastermind took yet another risk. They attempted to kill you instead, who also was not the killer. And when that fact was exposed live, exposed on live TV to the entire outside world, the mastermind had to accept your suggestion. Indeed. To prove to the world that despair is better than hope, they have to defeat us in perfect form. In other words... It would only do the mastermind harm to have it shown that they'd violated their own regulations. But all of that was a hunch, right? You were still able to get the mastermind to and you were still able to get the mastermind to accept your challenge. However. Well, it's only thanks to you that we got that chance. Because you believed in me and your psychic premonition, another path opened up. <laughs> Still, I can't believe that psychic premonition I had, and also how much of the Mastermind's thoughts and plans you were able to figure out. I didn't have the slightest clue except for that psychic premonition. <laughs> In the end, though, I couldn't prove any of it. It was just my reasoning. Essentially, I was making a bet. But it looks like I got it right. Well, this time, at least, I won the bet. Unlike Kaz, who <laughs> went all in and lost, lost every single that. one of her points. <laughs> no. You lost every single one of, of your of your of the points you were trying to make. Internet point. She let out a quick sigh. I took it as a small sign of relief. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't been that nervous in a long time. I totally couldn't tell you were nervous at all. Except for that premonition that he had. 
You seemed totally confident from the moment we decided to go talk to him. Well, presenting a strong demeanor is a fundamental part of negotiation and persuasion, wouldn't you say? Plus, if I had showed my uneasiness, that would have just made you think... Sorry, that would have just made you that much more uneasy. Yeah, you're probably right. How pathetic! However... Anyway, we can't relax just yet. All we've done is earn another chance to fight. We have to win this time. Hi, Julian. Hey, Julian. Or everything we've gone through will have been for nothing. The way you said hey, Julian, gave me hey, Jaffaka. Bye. Hey, Jaffaka. <laughs> You're right. Hi, Dale. Hi, Dale. <laughs> If we <laughs> if we can't defeat the mastermind, it'll cost us our lives and my singing career. There is no option except to win. Hey. But before we begin the final battle, we have to tell the others what's going on. True, but now we know who our real enemy is. All we have to do now is work together with everyone to destroy the mastermind. With Jazz. Work together with everyone. However, is that really possible? We can, we can, we can, we can let Biakuya die. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get him killed first, and then we'll band together. That's probably right. I mean, huh? Anyway. <laughs> anyway, right now we have to go find the others. Yeah, this is definitely a Hifumi Shall we go? range voice. They're probably in the dorms somewhere. Shall we go? Can I fast travel, please? Cut. There's something on my mic, hold up. <laughs> that was very good. Yo, okay. I've literally heard almost nothing. I've literally just been running back and forth flushing stink bugs down the toilet for this entire stream. Oh, wow. Really? I got, that was my seventh one, y'all. I don't know where the fuck they come from. That's making me angry. I'm angry oh. on your behalf. What's up, my microphone? Ew! Ew! Nikki! Oh, Ew. do we currently only have access to the first floor? <laughs> Moon says, hey, that's my elitist jerk that you want to kill. <laughs> oh, wow. We are stuck on the first floor. Yeah, in the dorms. In their dorms, I guess. Is anyone in the bathroom? Is anyone hanging out with Trash Chan? Oh, there he goes. Oh yeah, this is where we came up. <laughs> we we go down there and everyone's just hanging out in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow Yasuhiro is still alive. I know, it's amazing. This is he this is Hero's room. Is he inside? Knock knock! Knock knock! I don't think he's here. Come on, we need to keep looking. Rip Sakura. Fucking rip Sakura. Rip Sakura. <sighs> Owie. This is Hina's room. Is she inside? Knock, knock. Knock, knock. I don't think she's here. Come on, we need to keep looking. It could all fuck? be the cafeteria again, too. You think so? I don't know, but I'm just saying. Quite but, possible. Yeah, let's check there first. I like meeting up there a lot. Huh. Nope. Oh. 
Wait, nope. maybe. Huh? <laughs> I feel like you and I went on the same emotional journey there. <laughs> and we were both kind of like, no, wait, uh, huh? Yeah. <laughs> And suddenly, we were greeted with... Oh, here you go, Miles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. I'm so glad your first line of the night is just a key smash. <laughs> just shout out to fucking Nadine, please. <laughs> <laughs> you again? <laughs> Excellent. Excellent delivery on these lines. Miles. I hope these are the only lines you get. <laughs> Is he broken? I suppose his emotional instability reached its limit. And you're a little low for some. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Jeez, what the heck? However, I wonder what that was all about. <laughs> I couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. No! <laughs> <laughs> Makoto? Oh, here you go. Here you can have Hina. Who's you? Who? You, you, you. Are you talking about Miles? Me? Miles. Yeah, that, that that also requires context. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I figured you might want some real lines. <laughs> actually. I, I, I mean, look. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I gotta think of voice. Okay. Um. Uh, uh, Oh, is that Makoto? Yes! yes. Goofy always be! Yeah. I forgot I was goofy with her before, so... You guys! You, you guys! Yes. There's no, <laughs> There's way about it, There's no two ways about it, that's Makoto! What the fuck? What the Sora! Oh, Nanners, please take Toko. Huh? You survived? Jeez. You're like a stubborn little cockroach, you know that? Oh, golly. Gee, gollies. Um, I said odds were Miles. Okay, Miles, you take Byakuya, and then uh, Nanners, you'll have Yasuhiro. Ooh, okay. Jeez, so like a stubborn little cockroach, you know that? Thank you! I'm just asking to make sure, but... <laughs> I'm just asking to make sure, but you're not a ghost, right? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was there, including Kyoko's ghost. All my friends who had struggled together and survived. As soon as I saw their faces, I couldn't help myself. I started to tear up. What? Wait, what's that smell? <laughs> Sorry, it's my tears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that seriously stinks. <laughs> oh, it's Makoto. He smells like a wet dog. <laughs> Get away, shoo, shoo. Me. <laughs> <laughs> And in a flash, my tears dried up because all my friends are jerks. Let's talk to Biakria. I still can't believe you survived. Yeah, me either. You realize why it is escape escaped execution? It was alter ego. Maybe he really is the ultimate lucky student. <laughs> they saved my life. That's right. Not many people can say they had their lives saved by a computer program. I don't think that's, that's inaccurate, but okay. I imagine it's <laughs> a learning experience for you. <laughs> Never mind that there are tons of learning pro or tons of uh, programs out there that have uh, directly saved lives. But whatever. 
you know, people with like actual machine learning algorithms, like in technology in their bodies. Never mind that. Especially if that program is Facebook. No, Facebook will just kill you. Hina, 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 hina. So, what have you guys been doing while I was gone? Well, we figured that since the trial was over, we'd have access to new players again. And? No, guys. All the rules that were locked before were still locked. So there weren't. So there. <laughs> I don't want to become goofy. <laughs> Yes, baby, so there weren't any new areas. Then where can we go to find new clues? Maybe Toko knows. Ugh, you stink! Are you rotten? We're rotten physically, mentally, every way you can be rotten! Sorry, I was rolling around in garbage for a while. <laughs> This spell is so smelly. I don't like the face change. I don't like the face change. You gotta remember, she probably still hasn't taken a shower yet. Ugh. <laughs> ah, super smelly. You smell even worse than me. Way worse than me. <laughs> You're more of a degenerate than I am, and that turns me on. <laughs> I win. <laughs> <laughs> she seems happy for some reason. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, let's, see what, let's see what Hero has to say. Yo. Makoto, what was it like hanging out in the spirit world? I didn't go to the spirit world. You know? Did you get to talk to her? Oh, don't ask about her. Who? Miss oh. Cleo! <laughs> I thought he was gonna say Sayaka. <laughs> no, I didn't talk to her. I mean, I didn't go to the spirit world! <laughs> Tricked him for a second. <laughs> I mean, who the heck is Miss Cleo? That's how old this game is. That's how you know this game is old when they're dropping Miss Cleo. Miss right? Cleo, fucking Miss Cleo, yeah. Call me now for your free reading. <laughs> Call me now. <laughs> Classic. There's no time to indulge in an extended happy reunion. We need to explain to everyone what happened with Monokuma. Yes. Explain. Explain what? But is it okay that you're here? What if the mastermind catches you? It's true. That's related to what I have to tell you all. Lee Action! I need to tell you all about the last cra cra the last class trial. Last class trial? In other words. We're going to redo Makuru's trial. <laughs> what? Seriously? How about that? What's the point of redoing it? Makuru killed her, right? <laughs> no, I didn't do that. Like I keep telling you. Wrong. Makoto isn't the killer, and of course it's not me or any of you. Mm -hmm. Then who is it? What you think is, it was all the work of the mastermind. Huh? What? You're saying the mastermind killed Makuru? Makuru? Shut right. up. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It was all an elaborate trap conceived, contrived by the mastermind. I like telling people to shut up when no one has said anything to. <laughs> 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 like, actually. <laughs> Don't even. <laughs> Makoto spotted the trap in time and did what he had to to stop it. However... But his decision meant that he would be the one to die. What, what did you say? Part of the trap, did you, Makoto? Just so you know, Miles, I think the just the first little bit of what you're saying is being cut off. Oh, Jesus! You, you spotted the trap, did you, Makoto? 
Ja, ja. Ja, ja. You make it sound like it was easy. I just, you know. But executing Makoto, who wasn't the Blackened, is a clear violation of the school regulations. The rules state that only the Blackened is to be executed. The Mastermind broke their own rules. Fool! Which is why I went and negotiated with them to have the trial one more time. I didn't hear the thunder! Ugh. Give me one second, y'all. Give me one quick second. I've had to do a little bit. Thunder! Okay. Makoto takes a long pause to consider Man, what. I just wanted to open my window. window. Uh. Oof. Huh? Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Okay. The really did break the rule. No, I'm not goofy. <laughs> not goofy. <laughs> had no choice but to agree. The, the TV broadcast became the leverage you needed, didn't you? Very observant of you. Naturally. I recall what you said at the end of the last trial. When you said, now it's the masterminds I've been snared. That's what you were referring to. Hey, I'm totally in the dark here, which is not normal for me or anything. <laughs> it's okay, hero. I'm certain that even if you were paying attention, you'd still be. For anyone who doesn't understand, you can ask Kyoko to explain it again. Later! <laughs> so, knowing all of this, what do we do now? About that. It's a bile who killed Mukuro, right? So our job is to expose the mastermind. Hmm. But there's more to it than that, correct? Um, yeah. For us to win this time, we have to solve every last mystery surrounding the school. Every last mystery? But... But we've been looking around all the time and... We still don't know anything, right? Anyway... You've probably guessed already, but if we lose this time, everyone dies. Whoa. Everyone?! Hey, who said you could agree to those terms without talking to the rest of us?! <laughs> I'm fine with things the way they are! I'm fine living here forever with the master! It's okay, it's okay, Coco. I looked into the future and you died anyway. This is better. <laughs> I, meanwhile, want to get out of here as soon as humanly possible. Anyway... Anyway, at this point, the only way for us to survive is to unravel the truth. Hmm. Interesting. In other words, one decisive final battle. A rather interesting development, I'd say. But... Well, figuring out who the mastermind is, and how they killed Mukuro, and all school mysteries... It's a pretty tall friggin' order! Oh, this is me. But maybe yeah. this <laughs> But maybe this time the trial will be different. We know who our enemy is now. So if we work together and search as hard as we can, I'm sure we'll solve all those mysteries with teamwork, <laughs> anime determination and feelings. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> Kaz. <laughs> You could do it for a break. You're having some tummy trubs. Are you trying to sub out with Kaz? Uh, no. I think I, uh, frankly, just need to poop. Ah. I could take a few minutes. Yeah, we can take a, we can take a break. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, bro. What do you think? This gives me a chance to save.
Well, I know you oh, what's, what's going on in chat? Yeah, so I'm honestly very excited about the fact that it might be raining here. Yeah, like, so let me let me said it started falling. Step out real quick, bitch. Do it. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? Just no, do it. No, I have to be here to vamp while you two take a break. I can vamp too, you silly. What do you think? What do you think I'm here for? Bitch, you just got out of the ER. <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Cheers. Cheers to that. Cheers, baby. <laughs> I'm glad I could get you with your own thing. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> Ooh, this coffee is still hot. Okay, let me check something real quick on the pooter because... Holy shit. It's, it's starting... So, so... Just so you all understand, yeah, um, it's starting to rain, and it's 27 degrees Fahrenheit, which is like uh, 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Or, sorry, it's 27 degrees Celsius and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so like, yo, I don't. I'm not I, a lot, yo. I, I started raining it earlier, and normally I'm like all about that. And I was so sucked into that Squid Game shit, I didn't even notice. Uh huh. I didn't even notice. I looked out the window and everything was wet, and I was like, "What? <laughs> oh, that shit already happened." Damn. Damn. It's gone. It's gone forever. Rain, rain, wind away. <laughs> yes. back. I'm gonna start using "bitch." I just got out of the ER as a stand-in for "I don't understand you." <laughs> what, I'm so glad you started watching. I, I will. I'll watch with you if you want to ever like watch it together, yo. I, Ooh, I can watch that it. show again and again, all day and all night. Um, I'm glad you like it, Lev. I started watching JoJo from season one, and I just could not. I just could not be bothered. And then I tried watching Diamond. Diamonds are forever, or whatever the hell that season's called. And I just, I like certain concepts within the world. But I just can't get into the show. Diamonds are forever is all right. The, I, I, my favorite is the one Mizback and everyone seems to hate the Stardust Crusaders, honestly. But that latest one where they were in Italy and shit, the the gold whatever, that shit was fire too. That shit, it's it's just a long meme. That's all the show is, is a long-ass series of memes put together into one gigantic meme anime. Meme-ame. Meme-ame. Meme right. Anime. <laughs> Anime-ame. Anime-ame. There's this dance they do in that last season that I want to learn, yo. I'm not gonna lie. If we could all do this dance together, that should be great. Oh, is this the one you were talking to me about at some other point? No, that was a Nietzsche joke. You're right. Two girls it was from a Nietzsche each other. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, I could see me doing that with anybody in this entire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can learn anime dances. I'm shit at dancing, but we can do it. So am I. That's why it would be funny. <laughs> yes, let's be shit at dancing together. together. What a cute friend idea. All I could do is shake my ass back and forth a lot. Yeah. Not in a way that looks like attractive either. Can you? <laughs> like <a> really silly. <laughs> it just looks really sus. <laughs> it's really silly and weird. Are we ready to continue? Yes. Moils? Let before I before I keep going, I don't blame you for that, Let, because just like every other kind of fandom, there are a lot of problematic anime fans. And there's quite frankly a lot of problematic animes too, especially with the whole, you know, like 
incest trope and shit and like the whole stepsister stepfather thing Mm -hmm. there's some weird shit out there and weird people into it out there but you know if you learn to sift through that and just push it to the side it's pretty dope yeah there are definitely good anime out there there's some weird shit and weird people but you know what there's weird shit and weird people everywhere you just gotta decide to either walk away from it or walk through it Mm. oh the sexy little speech (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Nanners, I have no clue if you ever read this line. I did. Sorry. But I'll Sorry. say again. I'm no. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> huh? Hi. I can't agree with the idea of working together with everyone. Lee John! You can't agree? Why not? I mean, working together with everyone seems like the most obvious way to solve all the mysteries. Indeed. That's what I thought too, at first. But then Toko talked. (laughs) Until Monokuma gave us that little hint of his. Hint? Oh shit, who's remembering this? Me! Oh wait, oh, that's right. You're, <laughs> you're remembering, aren't you? Uh, this, I, this must be Makoto remembering. Mm. Uh... Well... <laughs> I was gonna ask what your Monokuma voice is, but... <laughs> I didn't get a chance to find out yet. You didn't, you didn't really use one. <laughs> nope, there wasn't one available. Kind of hints Angu in the urgency with which... They were delivered, but... Oh, I guess it kind of was. I could just... <laughs> that hint must have been when he said, Ah, yes, the eyes of sword. Yeah. <laughs> must have been. Must have been. It's a very polarizing approach, you know, but okay, no puns anyway, here's a hint. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only people to exist to have you to get a fix as the killing game began are those 16 students. <laughs> Why is one of them in 2012? <laughs> <laughs> Monica <laughs> said that, did he? <laughs> what a good line to have right after that. <laughs> <laughs> he said all that, did he? <laughs> D- oh. in, in just that manner? <laughs> in sure, could you repeat it? <laughs> I like how in the middle of laughing, Lep just goes, ah, ah. <laughs> 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 Yoko's opinion is perfectly reasonable. Oh, well, why? So, in other words, the mastermind really is the one who killed Mukuro, as Kyoko says. The mastermind would have had to set foot in this school, right? Monokuma could probably murder Mukuro, but there's no way he could disguise the scene like that. In other words, but according to Monokuma, the only people who have set foot in Hope's Peak are the 16 students who have been taking part in the killing game. Then the mastermind is... Hero, it's Hero. There were 15 of us in the main event hall at the very beginning. And you didn't grow and you get 16. So the mastermind w- would have to be one of them? Sayaka, it's Sayaka. That's where she's been this whole time, masterminding. That's right. That would have been cool. All of those 16, and with, oh, I read that wrong. And of those 16 <laughs> people we started out with, the only ones still alive are the people standing right here. Need I continue or do you get it now? 
you're saying the mastermind is one of us? God, I hope it's Hero. You can't be serious. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, we can't say for sure that's true yet. Manarsmar might have just said all of that to confuse us. It's certainly a possibility, but only one among many. The mastermind being one of us is also a possibility. That is one possibility we can't ignore. Yeah, I mean, they're an uh, ultimate, right? The ultimate despair. So they must be a high schooler. You can't say it's not possible. But if one of us was the mastermind, they'd have to be controlling Miss Narnisnarn somehow, right? But did you ever see anyone acting suspicious any time Miss Marmishnar was active? Oh, Maybe they s snuck off and controlled him in, in, in secret. Ultimate despair, damn. Really, really do have an early 2000s emo band in this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I don't care how sneaky you are. We would have noticed someone sneaking off that many times. Then maybe Monokuma was on autopilot. Maybe they loaded up all the dialogue and actions beforehand. In that case, there's no way he would have had all those back and forth conversations with us. Well, it wouldn't be entirely impossible if they directed the flow of the conversation. Well, maybe, but still. Ding dong, bing bong. Here you go, Miles. Time to time to figure out how to how to reverse engineer the voice you're going to use from what I did. Oh no, that's that's not. I'm not thinking that hard. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Just got the ER. <laughs> that hard, Jesus. Uh, I, I didn't come this. here to work. I came here to dick around. What are you? <laughs> Ah, uh, this is a school announcement. Oh, good. You've all probably You've all figured, probably this, figured this out by now, now but... At this point, at this point the killer game, game has now entered... entered true, true ending, ending mode. mode. So, in the name, so, in the name of fairness, I will unlock every room, in the, room in the school! Ooh. <laughs> Miles is going through all the Disney characters. Is this the Disney character? I mean, it probably is, and I just don't know it. Look wherever you want. Look wherever you want. I'm the mystery in whatever way you see fit. Oh, now it's different. <laughs> then we can all meet up at the class trial. Then we can okay? all meet up at the class trial, okay? True ending. It sounds very close to South Park's version of Mickey Mouse. Oh, That's what I was kind of, I was I was thinking Mickey Mouse adjacent, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, then I, I was can... also thinking Mickey adjacent. Malakuma kind of is Mickey adjacent though in English. Yeah. Yeah. Ha <laughs> 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 bitch. Yeah. Ha bitch. What are you, what are you going to do about it? Bitch, I just got out the ER. Ha <laughs> 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 Clip the whole thing. <laughs> How very magnanimous of him to unlock all the rooms. Honestly. That's fun. Time for talk is done. Now we need to begin our investigation. I was planning on working alone from the beginning anyway. God damn moron! <laughs> Naturally. In the name of my family. Point I can rely only on my. Dark side of the force. At this point, I can rely only on myself, on the Tokami blood flowing through my veins. I have no time to worry about the rest of you. Each of you must uphold your responsibility. 
That's fine, Biakia. You're the only one I don't really care about dying anyway. Goodbye. Well then. <laughs> 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 That was such a good answer, right? It was. <laughs> <laughs> After making his final statement, Biakia left the dining hall. Yeah, master! He didn't take me with him! Do you blame him? <laughs> oh, <laughs> so what? The rest of you were like... Coffee with... Cream without cream or coffee. What? <laughs> <laughs> without master, you're all like bearded people without beards. <laughs> We're beardless people. <laughs> We're <Without> people. people. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're totally useless. Damn. So, so, so bye. With that, Toko trudged out of the dining hall. Trudge, trudge, trudge. And now that wet blanket's gone. <laughs> 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 and you're gonna go off by yourself, right, Kyoko? Hmm. Indeed. That's right. Hmm. Which just leaves Makoto, Hina, and me. You guys, I'm not gonna lie, I forgot about Hina. <laughs> I kind of forgot about her. Just talk. <laughs> We're still standing here! <laughs> In that case, I'm gonna go by myself too! The sharpest trio is on the case! <laughs> just a second! Wait, how come? <laughs> Just wait and see! I'm gonna use my totally awesome spirit power to figure out the mastermind's identity! Which is me! <laughs> Peace! Laughing loudly, Hero left the dining hall. Everyone's really gonna go off by themselves? What about you, Hina? Hina, Hina. Oh, we gotta watch more of that. Mm hmm. I guess I'll do the same thing. But. I mean, it's not that I don't trust everyone, you know. I mean, but, uh, up until now, I haven't really been all that useful. I just depended on Sakura and everyone else. You're not useless. If you hadn't been here, I would have died. Uh, bitch, she tried to kill you all, remember? <laughs> anyway. No, <laughs> no. She tried to kill you all. Hello? 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 <laughs> oh, that's really nice of you to say. But still, I, I know I'm mostly been totally useless. Okay. Well, I figure. At least here at the end. Maybe I can find something that will help us all get out of here. So well, I'm gonna go off and do it all on my own. <laughs> okay. See you later. <laughs> Hina was in surprisingly high spirits as she dashed out of the dining hall. And once again... It's just us two. <laughs> Who? Oh, <laughs> I thought Kyoko Indeed. left already. <laughs> I was really confused about who he was talking to for a second. I was like, Makoto, everyone I was, left. I was, I was like, who is it going to be? Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on. From the bottom of my heart, I just really want to keep looking at cameras. Maybe I'll just bust it to hell. Oh, <laughs> maybe I'll just bust it to hell for real. <clears throat> so you're gonna go off on your own too, right, Mako? Right, <laughs> Yoko? However, right me, <laughs> my own <laughs> name, right me. 
Well, don't misunderstand. <laughs> Just because we're going to do our searches separately doesn't mean we can't still work together. So... That goes for all of us. <laughs> I think I see what you mean. Doing our own investigating doesn't mean we can't work together in the end. That's showing that I was actively listening. I should just see it as us splitting up to cover more ground. And then we can get back together and share what we found. Oh, nice little rhyme. Yeah, that's right. So then. Well, I'd better get going. I have an endless list of things I need to check. Correct. Monokuma said the doors in... Sorry, said all the doors in the school had been unlocked, right? So we should be able to investigate every nook and cranny in the school. Which Get includes little, the second floor dorms. Get our little grubby fingies in there. <laughs> Stick our thumbs in all those pies. We can visit all the places we couldn't before. Makoto, no matter what it takes, we have to uncover the truth by any means necessary. With that, Choco is gone. Leaving only me. Oh, and the one out for you guys. <laughs> only leaving us two together again. I mean... <laughs> I don't have... <laughs> Makoto and inner Makoto. <laughs> I don't have time to waste either. I have to begin my search. But first, a jazz break. I still can't believe the mastermind might be one of us. So that's what I have to prove. I'll prove that the mastermind isn't one of us. I'll expose the mastermind's true identity and solve the mystery of this school. And then we can all escape together, I said out loud. Kyoko peeks in like, huh? <laughs> Yo, that, that, freaking, that freaking investigate sound effect is kind of sexy, I'm not gonna lie. That was, I'm, I'm really digging what's happening right now, music layer. Oh, oh yeah, this is the end, baby. This is the end, baby! Mastermind. That's Hi, just dude. me. That's just me starting a sentence in shamanigams. <laughs> ah. Um, I guess I'll start by taking another look at Mukuro's monochroma file. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They also had been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered in other wounds, but these were at least several days old. I don't know what this voice is anymore. It's fine. It's incredible. <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> Once we... <laughs> I'm glad. Once we find out who killed Mukuro Ikusaba, then we'll know who the mastermind is. So, where should I start my investigation to figure out who killed her? I guess I should start with the rooms that were locked up until now. The headmaster's room, <laughs> the bio lab, and the door in the data center with McCannamar's face on it. Oh, and the second floor of the dorms where the gate was down before. That should be open now, right? After all, I'll have to double check the areas that are connected to the murder. <laughs> Did I say frigger her out? <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> I'll have to double check the areas that are connected to the moida. Which means the garden and the dojo. I thought to myself. Okay, time to get started. Nice. So <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I'm just sitting here thinking to myself how, like, this Makoto person just fully converses between, like, the external and internal voice. That's just a conversation, but anyone near him only gets access to one side of it. Yeah. 
And to be fair, I have done this. Yes, also me. Quite I guess, often. I guess for now it's okay because he's by himself. <laughs> pretty much, I pretty yeah. much do it all the time, and sometimes I don't realize it, and I'm not by myself, and it, it's bad. Anyway. It's bad. Hold up, I put, I put candy in my mouth because I thought you were going to talk longer. <laughs> That's all I had, sorry. <laughs> I put a snack in my mouth because I thought you were going to talk longer, Miles. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I did that earlier too. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I can, I can, I can keep talking. No, I, I got it. I'm. I, I got how it. you doing? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Ain't good now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Places to check has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. This voice is just like new time extra. <laughs> like this one. Yeah. I feel like this is new being like really sarcastic. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> if we're grow <we're> out. <laughs> we're grow it out. We're grow it out. Okay. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> I don't oh, know. Get open! <laughs> We can finally check out the second floor of the doors. Which means... I have to do it. Whoa. This oh is the second floor of the dorms. It looks like some ancient ruins. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Or no, it's more like a battlefield. Like a bomb blew up in here or something. It does sound sarcastic as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, a bomb blew up in here or something. Boo-hoo. Oh no, we had this is a oh, triple no. stuff. It's all oh, boo no. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Were you not ready for the battle? <laughs> oh no, did someone get squashed by falling rubble? Oh, boo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, did somebody not... Was someone unable to access the other side of this hallway because of all of this falling rubble and they had to go around some other way that took a lot longer? Oh, boo-hoo! <laughs> What the fuck is that doing over there? <laughs> what is it? This eye of raw? Oh, hey. Oh, what's up, girl? <laughs> can we get in there? Oh. Yeah, it looks like we're in the window. I don't think you're, you're supposed to go in there. That's just if, background shit. If only I knew how to jump. <laughs> I would suggest the door is covered in blood, though. Or, no, I don't know if that's blood. Um, I'm sorry. We now know what's inside the big locker by the pool. Oh, shit! The big reveal! <laughs> That's why it's so big! They put a whole giraffe in there! A whole dang giraffe in that locker. Where's Sean? Should, can someone get Sean on the horn? <laughs> get Sean the one? No. <laughs> Sean! Sean, we found it! <laughs> <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> oh, it's wild. I'm gonna click it's it. Some sort of alien giraffe. At that. I'm gonna click it. Even better. Uh, this room is filled with lockers. It must have been for the Hope's Peak students who came before us. The class before ours must have used these lockers. Incredible. That had the same like degree of variation as the color of the words. It was incredible. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It looks like this locker is already broken. And there's nothing more to say about it. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to look inside of it or take a closer <laughs> look. <laughs> it's broken. Couldn't this be metal plate, though. <laughs> What'd that metal plate do? There's a metal plate mounted to the locker. There's no way to get it open. 
Yeah, there's Please. like not that many of them you can look in. I think there's only oh, one. Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> But most of them are going to say the locker's broken, you know? The ones that look like they're stable are the ones that probably are. I wonder if I can open this locker. Rattle, rattle. Nope, locked. There's a card reader installed on the door. There must, there, there must be how. There <laughs> must be how. <laughs> there must be how you get in the locker. <laughs> After all, it's pretty similar to the card readers for the locker rooms on the second floor of the school. And you have to use your V-Handbook to open these bad boys up. So does that mean? Oh, well, let's give it a try. I took out my handbook and ran it across the card reader. And then... Bizzed! Bizzed! <laughs> <laughs> No luck. Maybe only the locker's owner can open it, which means none of us can do it. But what about these metal plates, though? I'm pretty sure there is one locker that will open. I hope so. If, I don't know if it like, has to be later or if it's... If it I wonder now. if I can open this locker. Rattle, rattle! Nope, not. There's a card reader installed in the door. This might be how you get the locker open. After all, it's pretty similar to the card readers in the locker rooms of the second floor of the school. And you can use your handbook to open those up. So does that mean? Well, let's just give it a try. You got my handbook and ran it around the reader. And then... Bizzed! No luck. Uh, let's try these ones. Okay. Okay. No, it's, uh, it, it's not yet. This, okay. Yeah, it seems like not yet. Because these are all, like, this is the only one I haven't tried, I think. I'll go for it. Fuck it. Why not? Wouldn't hurt. <laughs> it says, it opened! <laughs> oh, I can't believe we found a fucking... I can't, I can't believe this is here and the fucking joke that we made. <sighs> okay, what was the door with the blood on it? I, I thought that was blood, but it wasn't. It was dread. Oh. <laughs> I think you've got to keep going that way, because down... Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know what's in there. Oh, shit. Okay. Maybe I'll just take a nap. The bed... <laughs> the bed is completely torn apart. I mean, it's not even really a bed anymore. It's just garbage. Ooh! Not that I needed it. <laughs> I opened the door just a crack, glanced inside, and immediately closed it again. Sayaka was in there! There wasn't even a hint of a bathroom, just a big pile of rubble! Okay. That door isn't even attached to the wall. <laughs> You're right, it has a shadow! Why does the door have a shadow? <laughs> oh, weird. Oh, but that door has- wait, now we're stuck in here, all these doors have shadows! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's a dorm. Oh, dormy dorm. Yeah, we gotta go right again. Clearly, the doors are hiding something. This is the girls' bathroom. Even in a place like this, I can't bring myself to go in. Coward. Fucking, I know, I'm just gonna stay. Notice. Observing. Notice. Observing. Okay, so this is literally the bathroom. It's for show. <laughs> Ooh. Blue. <gasps> A well-kept room. In this mess. Oh, yeah, this room. 
this room doesn't really feel like a student's room. I said out loud in a room that I've never been in before. <laughs> <laughs> It has a more adult atmosphere. Correct. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's the headmaster's <laughs> private room. Wait, wait, was Kyoko with us the whole time? Oh, well, Kyoko's just in here, I think. Kyoko just like Kyoko just popped up from behind the couch and was just like, what's up? <laughs> Kyoko, you fucking scared me. Indeed. <laughs> I've been through this room several times already, but I still have one little regret. <clears throat> so I decided to check it out one more time. Huh? A regret? Is it the fact that you clearly ignored this shit right here? <laughs> one, uh, one That's whole... Regrettable. And one regret. Whole. One, parentheses, one, regret. And regret. Uh <laughs> and uh, single solitary regret. <laughs> and single soul regret. Huh? There's a strange gap in the wall. Is it some kind of design mistake or a construction defect or something? Or maybe a secret door? There's a gap there, but not just any normal gap. A thigh gap. I can feel a breeze coming out. <laughs> a thigh gap? Indeed. There's likely an open space on the other side of this wall. <laughs> Baba Booey! <laughs> open space? Does that mean? You mean like a hidden room? Gentle breeze. I think I might know how to open it. A gentle breeze coming out of that thigh gap. <laughs> the thigh gap to the hidden room. <laughs> if you can get to the other side of the thigh gap, it will reveal a hidden room. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Cross the cavernous thigh gap if you're brave enough. <laughs> Lee action! You know how to open it? Did you figure out some kind of trick or something? Indeed. A very easy trick, yes. So easy, I'm not sure you can even call it a trick. Baba Booey. <laughs> you don't have to be mean, he just wanted sex! More of a little tickle tickle <laughs> if you know <laughs> I saw a program on that PC that I think controls it. Enter the right password and the door should open right up. However... But I don't have a clue what that password might be. Come on, is it password? On. All we know is it's probably made up of letters and or numbers. We can't really go from there. Is it Leon upside down? You're right! That's not nearly enough to go on! <laughs> did, <laughs> did they have an uppercase and lowercase requirement? Did they need a special symbol? We don't know these things! I looked through all his paperwork, all the files on the PC, everything I could think of. I learned more about him than I had any desire to, but nothing that might have been his password. You mean everything that might have been a bad thing. When I think of how much time I wasted on this... <laughs> Did you try turning it off, Go Go? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my way, Kyoko. I have things to look at. There's a PC on the desk. It must have belonged to the headmaster. It would seem... Whoever used this last... It looks like they were very interested in the ultimate despair. The PC still had some search results left on it. Naughty. Then we might be able to get some info on the ultimate despair. However, there's not much though, nothing we don't already know. In other words, the ultimate despair isn't one individual, but instead points to some kind of group. 
that group is responsible for a tragedy which happened one year ago. There's no way I don't get naughty pictures if I Google Ultimate Despair. <laughs> Do it, coward. They're the worst sorts of people whose driving force comes from despair. However... And that's all there is. Not much to it, is there? <sighs> but I guess that's the best he could do as a complete Kirigiri failure. <gasps> but, 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 but any information about the Mastermind is helpful, right? I appreciate whatever info we can get our hands on. Correct. I see. That's a good outlook to have. Nice! The ultimate despair has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook! Jeez! <laughs> Do you ever just think jeez to yourself? Jeez, uh... <laughs> I do, so, actually, a lot. <laughs> so there's a hidden room we couldn't... She couldn't get into. That's what she meant by regret. I think we can assume that there must be some kind of clue waiting in there. But maybe for her, there's more to it than that. Anyway, if we want to get in there, we need to figure out the puzzle. And if Kyoko can't figure it out, no way do I stand a chance. I'm, I'm too stupid and head empty. No, wait. There might be a chance. The password could be... Password. <laughs> something Kyoko wouldn't have thought of. Or something she didn't want to think of. For example... What about your name? What? Huh? Oh, sorry. I was just having half of a conversation out loud with myself. Oh, you do that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she hasn't tried it yet. I mean, it's totally understandable. After the way she talked about her dad, the idea that he would use her name as his password? Knowing how she is, I bet the idea never even procured occurred to her. <laughs> um, do you mind if I try it? Just to be sure. Kyoko noises. Well? <laughs> it's not like you need my permission. Unless... If you want to try it, try it. Do whatever you want, coward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 okay. <laughs> And stung from being called a coward. Can I click on the chair instead? Oh. I can! Gotta <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> check that butt print. <laughs> a leather chair. I can't imagine a student using something like this. It must have been the headmaster. Yeah, because uh, we all know that students don't use leather chairs. It's a well-known documented fact. You know, I'm glad I thought of trying Kyoko's name. But if that's not it, that might just hurt Kyoko even more. And then I'll look as stupid as I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Makoto noises. If you're worried about me, Makoto, don't be. I already know that your guess is wrong. Okay. In that case, here goes nothing. I collected myself and turned to face the computer monitor. Let me just uh, type the password here. It never used one of these before, apparently. I typed in her full name, Kyoko Kirigiri. My hands were tense, slightly trembling, palm sweaty, mom spaghetti! And as I finished typing it in... <laughs> Beep! Kern! Kern! <laughs> Corn. Corn. <laughs> Beep. Corn. 
<laughs> what? I said corn. <laughs> <laughs> the whole room's like corn again. <laughs> Oh, it's just the door talking to him, like waving. The secret door was like opening and closing. <laughs> I see <it> door. <laughs> Wait, that's what happened to Facebook. It was Makoto all along. <laughs> Makoto went and fucked up Facebook's DNS. <laughs> that did it. Choco, it worked. You were so wrong about the password. I hope you feel as stupid as I did. Choco noises. More Choco noises. <laughs> Why? Choco? Choco noises. <laughs> Without looking at me, she disappeared in. I said that so weird. Without looking at me, she disappeared into the hidden room. She looked grim. Skyoko! Skyoko, am I right? Let's Skyoko! <laughs> Let's Skyoko! Skyoko <laughs> noises. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kyoko! I may as well not even have been in the room. Her gaze was fixed on only one. Oh shit. Oh, on that thing? Not on the photo of you as a child on the fucking dresser? A present? Wrapped and covered with such joy. That's what made it so unusual. I'm trying to look at this, though. I'd better check out that suspicious present before I do anything. Drag game. Uh, boy. You got an agenda. Oh. There's a brightly colored box here. <laughs> On the other side of the thigh gap. <laughs> it seems <laughs> totally glowing <laughs> from within. <laughs> <laughs> it seems totally out of place in here. <laughs> the more I look at it, the more suspicious I get. That's even better. <laughs> this is so good. This is such a good reading. <laughs> Should I open it? I'm getting kind of a bad vibe from it. <laughs> I mean, we can't not open it. Right? Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> Be careful, Makoto. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you think it's dangerous? <laughs> no, not dangerous. Bye. <laughs> Surprising, probably. <laughs> <laughs> you may not be ready for this yet. <laughs> it's okay if you're not. I, I can't die again. <laughs> huh? If it is what I think it is, at the very least, it's not something you'll be happy with. <laughs> Wait, so you know what's in there? Anyway... Just don't scream or anything, okay? <laughs> Try to keep it down. <laughs> Are you saying it's something that'll make me want to scream? Hey! <laughs> Babooey? <laughs> oh, I'm like Confused Makoto voice voices. <laughs> Noises. <laughs> <laughs> many voices of Makoto. The many voices of confused Makoto. <laughs> uh... Okay, I'm just gonna open it. Step by heavy step, I approached the box. I took a deep breath, then took hold of the lid. Slowly, ever slowly, I lifted it up. <laughs> Light began to sneak its way into the box! Gotta go real slowly. <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> I stole a hesitant glance inside and... <laughs> Sorry, I told you I tried not to scream. 
<laughs> Joko's advice was no use! <laughs> I let out a trembling cry! What was in the box? It was bones! Bones! <laughs> Human bones! It was the last thing I expected to find in such a bright, joyful box! I mean, who could have possibly imagined? Bone box, covered in Netflix. Bone box. Just as I thought. Bones. Bones. What? I've said that like at least half a dozen times this game. Between what? What? And huh? <laughs> <sighs> Just as you thought, how could you have known that? I mean, there were bones in there! Human bones! Well, it's not that I was thinking of the bones specifically. I just had a feeling it would be his body. Th th that's pretty much the same thing! A dead guy in a box! <laughs> the words are saying something that makes sense. <laughs> My father. Hmm. Huh? What about him? Correct. <laughs> what you found in the box, idiot. I, I like how her response to <laughs> What about the box is correct. <laughs> uh those bones. That body. That's my father. That's not your father! That's my wife! Or at least, what's left of him. Are you serious? This is Kyoko's dad? The same man she's been searching for? Huh, hold on! How can you know that for sure? How do you know that's him? Given all the information we have already, that's the only possible answer. Okay, so Dad's not the mastermind, if this is true. So it must be one of the students. How is that the only possible answer, bitch? How do you know? Bitch, I'm just gonna have the ER. I know things. How do you know? Seriously, how do you know? You don't know what else is possible here. You don't know what happened here before. No, it's, that's true. She doesn't. There's, I mean, there's there is like circumstantial evidence to support it. Yeah, but it's it's circumstantial. Kind of loose. Kind yeah. of loose. She's playing fast and loose with, loose with this whole you know ultimate detective thing. All right, uh -huh. <laughs> I'm not buying it. I'm assuming this is Kyoko imagining. So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late thirties. It seems possible, even likely, that he is somewhere in this school right now. <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know, but okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step in Hope's Peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. Alter Ego said the headmaster was probably here in the school. But the only ones who were alive at the start of the killing game were us 16 students. When you put those two ideas together, it doesn't take much to assume. In other words, that most likely my father was in this school, but he was also dead. That's my assumption, anyway. Excuse me. 
As Kyoko explained her analysis, she was completely calm. Or no, she wasn't calm. She was the opposite of it. She was only trying... Oh, shit. <laughs> she was only trying to seem calm. She said it was just as she thought, so she knew it was a possibility. But I have to believe that at some point, she wanted to be proven wrong. Which is why she never looked in the box herself. Even though she had plenty of chances in the time between when we opened the door and when I opened the box. I know Kyoko said she wanted to see her father so she could cut off all ties. Jazz, baby, but that was all there was to it? But was... <laughs> Wait, was that all there was to it? Hi. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, it wasn't happy a tone, so I didn't realize it was. You know uh, what? It might not. It might not be a, a flashback then. Did she say this? Do we? Do you remember if she said this before? I think it is a flashback. It just isn't happy a tone. <laughs> Useless. I gave up some of that pride. In order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I did it knowing it was something a true Kirigiri detective would never do. Would she really give up her pride just for that? That was a very good uh, middle <laughs> between the two voices. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I couldn't help but wonder. Nice! Hidden Room Present has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. Look at you bones! Bones! <laughs> Look at you bones! <laughs> uh, it actually fits with how the game has gone. Right, as for example, Kimarnamar breaking his own rules. Yeah, it's kind of getting out of control. It's getting a little out of control here. Now can I look at this fucking photograph? Look at this photograph! <laughs> Look at this photograph! Every every time I do it makes Kyoko cry. <laughs> huh? <laughs> huh? This picture. It's all faded. It's it must be pretty old. Wait, is this a picture of... Me? Hey, Kyoko! <gasps> Kyoko noises! <laughs> well, this is annoying. I came here to cut myself free of the past. And yet... To now find something like this... So what do you expect me to do now? Then I was right. It's a picture of Kyoko when she was a little girl. Knowing the headmaster had this picture all this time, he must have really cared about her. Why? Why? What? I wanted to face him and tell him myself. To cut him out of my life for abandoning me. That's the whole reason I came here. You sure did find the exact opposite of what you were looking for. <laughs> you, yeah. want, you wanted to find a cold, distant, alive father, and you found a dead father who probably cared. The shitty job of showing it, though, obviously. And now yeah. he's abandoned me again. Yes. And this time, he even stole the only opportunity I had to move on. Has there ever been a worse father? Mm. Kyoko! Nice! <laughs> what a mood changer! <laughs> Emotional roller coaster! <laughs> Photo of Kyoko and Headmaster has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. Desk. The headmaster's desk. 
It's probably hiding some kind of clue, so I really want to check it out, but... I really don't want to touch Kyoko's dad's desk without her permission. Hey. Don't worry about me. Feel free to look around as much as you like. It's almost as if she didn't care about him as a person and probably wouldn't his belongings either. Are you sure? Because... Never let anything get in the way of the investigation. I don't. Oh. Okay then, if you don't mind. I'm just gonna, just gonna walk over here. <laughs> Starting from the top, I opened all the desk drawers and looked inside. I rummaged through each one, finding nothing but unrelated documents. Oh. But, but in the last drawer... Huh? Is this? It's an e-handbook, am I right? And it has a label on it that says, in case of emergency. There you go. That's, that's what I, okay. Yeah, that's what we need. That, that's what I forgot. <clears throat> I found something of, some, some, Jim. I found some kind of emergency handbook in the headmaster's desk. In other words. Why did he say uh, that in? Uh, sorry. <laughs> a handbook with no limitations given to the school's ultimate authority, the headmaster? I'm assuming that's what that is. I think you're probably right. It would seem... It might prove useful as we continue our investigation. Why don't you hold on to it? Huh? But Kyoko! I... I don't need it. If you don't want it, go ahead and leave it here. Th then... I guess I'll take it. Kyoko noises. Is it really okay? Sir, just take people at their word, please. Nice! Headmaster's e-handbook has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Kyoko noises. Hey. <laughs> Listen, Makoto? I'm hearing all your Kyoko noises. What is it? Huh? Can I ask you a favor? <gasps> a favor? Lead action! Oh, that's such a hot sound. <laughs> right? <laughs> Wing! Wum, 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 wum. It's so yeah, good. Wum, 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 wum. <laughs> a favor? What is it? So. I know it's completely unreasonable to ask you this. <laughs> a favor? In front of your dead dad? <laughs> <laughs> and I know it'll only inconvenience you that much more, but hey, could you leave? <laughs> yes. Huh? <laughs> just for a little while. I'd just like to be alone for a bit. Don't do anything you know, weird with the bones, part. okay? Kyoko. Don't worry, I'm fine. I just need to calm down a little. A worthy soldier never cries. Shut up, I'm fine. <laughs> I need to get my emotions in order. Makoto noises. You know, Kyoko, you told me before about the relationship you had with your dad. How you're the only connected... Deb. How you're only connected by blood, not by heart and soul. But... Maybe that picture motivated him. Maybe he hoped to see me again someday. Oh, Jenna, you've had that song in your head all day? It's a pretty Is good song. Is that what you were going to say? I didn't. <laughs> Hi. Makoto noises. If so, it's just a theory. And this isn't an issue that can be settled with theories. That picture doesn't change the fact of what happened, what I went through. True, true. Good for you, girl. Good for you. I... That problem can't be solved so easily. 
I'm really glad she has that clarity. You're right. I'm sorry. Anyway. Once I've got myself under control, I'll return to the investigation immediately. Who's Oh, please, just give me some time to myself. Absolutely. Oh, okay, I understand. You better do. Then, I'll see you later. Kyoko noises. <laughs> yeah, I forgot she had the whole moment. She acknowledged it. She, that, like, that's not the real anime thing to do. The anime thing would be, Oh, I saw this picture! Now I have to take the path of righteousness! <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, nah, cool. that dude fucking hurt me. He did me dirty! Yeah, he did. Fuck him! Fuck him and his feelings! Yup! Is she really okay? No! <laughs> we answer this for you. <laughs> Kyoko, it must have been a complete shock to her. I mean, it was a shock to me! And I don't even understand what's going on! <laughs> To find out what happened to the headmaster. There's no doubt the mastermind performed that evil deed. They killed the headmaster. Killed Choco's father. They killed him. The headmaster is you're going to be dead if you keep Say it fucking again. Say it again, the photo. Fucking again, or I'm skipping all of your dialogue for the rest of the game. Koto is shit. Koto is just under pressure, having a stroke right now. Uh, <laughs> brain is just on repeat. Oh yeah, yeah. The one leading the Hope's Peak staff, the one who finalized the plan to isolate you, was the Hope's Peak headmaster. So the same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the master, the headmaster is a man in his late thirties. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in this school. Right now. But we were wrong about that. The headmaster wasn't the mastermind. He was master dead. Which means the mastermind's true identity is... <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know! But okay, enough puns! Anyway, here's a hint! I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students! And the only people to take a single step in hopes peaks is the killing game began! Are those 16 students? Fifteen of us met in the ma mail the mail hall. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, in the mail hall. Fifteen of us met in met by the post office. Fifteen of us met in the main hall. Add Makuro to the mix, and you get sixteen. I've practiced this math enough times to know it bears out. And including me, only six of us are still alive. Everyone else is dead. <laughs> All my friends are dead. <laughs> All my yes, friends are dead, and I'm totally fine. My friends are dead, but I am not. Oh God. <laughs> Even Makuro. Even she's undeniably dead. I... <laughs> so the ones still left alive are... Me. Byakuya. Hiro. Toko. Hina Hina. Lord. <laughs> Lord. And Kyoko. The headmaster was the ultimate dead guy, am I right? <laughs> Thank you, Kaz. <laughs> Only six. Oh, fuck. 
Only those six people are still alive. Then there's no question. Wait! No! That can't be! I refuse to believe it! There has to be some other way I said out loud in the room next to where Kyoko was probably crying. There just has to be. Let's just leave. <laughs> I'm gonna let you finish your thing, Kyoko, but I just gotta be really frustrated about how hard this is for me right now. Out here. <laughs> out here, by myself. Where you aren't. <laughs> I can just picture the conversation happening. Yeah. I actually, like, it seems pretty on character. Uh, Ow. Ow, my nose. Oi, okay. Let's try these doors. I wonder if I can open this locker. Rattle, rattle. No, locked. There's a card reader installed on the door. There must, there must be how you get the locker. <laughs> Every <laughs> time. How do I keep blanding the same word? Not <laughs> A very situational blamond. <laughs> that must be how you get the locker open. After all, it's pretty similar to the card readers for the locker rooms on the second floor of the school. And you zoom, and you have to use your e-handbook to open those up. So does that mean? Well, let's just give it a try. Are you? Wait, but okay. <laughs> Makoto, I'm gonna. <sighs> Wait, but what about that emergency handbook I found in the headmaster's hidden room? Okay, let's give it one more try. Seriously? I hate her. I took the emergency handbook and ran that across the card reader and... Beep! Alright, that's just what I was hoping for! Now we're cooking with gas! Now let's see what we've got inside. <laughs> <laughs> this locker is totally disorganized. Whoever it belongs to probably has organization problems in every part of their life. Why are you reading anyone? I know, fucking psyched profile in this motherfucker. Like, who are you? This is a crystal ball. Makoto thinks he's the ultimate detective. <laughs> huh? A crystal ball? No, it can't be. There's no way he ever used this locker. It's just not possible. Okay, okay, okay. No. <laughs> I know I joke about it. And I want it to be true, but there's no fucking way that Hero is the mastermind. There's no way. <laughs> Just keep playing, you'll see. Ugh. There's all kinds of textbooks and notebooks stacked up. <laughs> stacked up in no particular order. And dust everywhere. I have to assume whoever stuff this is didn't do a lot of studying. Kind of is a why. Not that I can really talk. I mean, <laughs> trying to act as casual and natural as possible. I picked up a what? <laughs> <laughs> don't don't spook the books. <laughs> I know. Like, <laughs> casual. <laughs> Grab one real fast. <laughs> Just real easy. You don't you don't want to you don't want to surprise it. You want to just grab that sucker by the by, by the spine. I picked up one of the notebooks I saw, but the moment I looked inside the notebook, any sense of easiness I may have had evaporated. Makoto noises. <gasps> what? 
there was no denying what I saw. Inside the notebook was written, Yasuhiro Hagakure. Is this our Yasuhiro? The notebook also contained a large number of notes for a variety of different classes. Which would mean... He attended classes here? No, that can't be possible! I mean, Hiro came to this school at the time... At the same time as the rest of us. We were all sucked into this evil world. We never had the chance to take any classes. So, what is this notebook? Nice! Locker Notebook has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. I'm thoroughly confused. <laughs> <sighs> what the fuck, y'all? I hope it's not some boring, like, there was two people with the same name who were also into crystal balls kind of thing, because I'm going to be pissed. It's not, that. it's not that. I promise you it's not that. Okay, great. It's not that stupid. <laughs> Jazz, baby. Is this a deck of playing cards? No, they're tarot cards. But wait, there's more. Aren't those used for telling fortunes? Makoto noises? It's just a coincidence, right? <sighs> okay, I guess, yeah, that's everything in here. Oh, that's all that one. Okay, so that was that one. I took the emergency handbook and ran that across the card reader and... BEEP! Looks like the locker opened. Now let's see what we've got inside. <laughs> How would you make that much noise looking through an empty locker? I don't see anything that might be a clue. Boop. Okay, so like that's clearly the big bombshell. Let's just see if there's anything else. I think there is one more. <gasps> I think you got it. Yeah, there we go. That's what I remember. This thing is practically empty. Except, <laughs> you know, the thing in it. <laughs> Except for the one thing that makes it not. There's just one thing. Some kind of pocketbook. I don't see a name written on it. So I can't say for sure whose it is. And I can't open it. That would just be rude. But there's some writing inside. It could, oh, okay. It could be important. Zoom. I don't like violating the owner's privacy, but I'd better take a look. It looks like a girl's handwriting. And all the letters are spaced out evenly, like whoever wrote them was measuring them. Whoever wrote this must have been really meticulous. Huh? I was flipping through the pocketbook, but my hand froze when I got to a certain page. I saw something familiar written there, words I'd heard before. There's a plan to turn Hope's Peak into a shelter and isolate the students here in a communal life. I decided to talk to one of the the what the one who came up with the plan directly. It just so happens to be the headmaster and my father. He was willing oh, oh, oh. He was willing to give me some more details regarding the plan. Here's what he said. The point is to keep our student prodigies safe, to keep them as our hope for the future. Only their genius can overcome disaster, and only their hope can overcome despair. For the future of our country, our world, it's not our... Uh, it's not an exaggeration to call this our final hope. We must isolate our superior youth from the corrupted world to serve as the foundation for a new era. This is the only hope we have. I hope that you'll be willing to go along with this plan. So that's what my father had to say. 
As usual, he made a selfish decision without consulting anyone else. I can't imagine a worse father. Beam bomb ball. Yeah. What the nani the fuck? Desu? This yep. can't be true, can it? But I knew it was. I knew exactly who the pocketbook belonged to. Choco, it couldn't be anyone else. But if this belongs to Choco, what was it doing in this locker? And what she wrote here completely contradicts what she already told me. She said she hasn't seen her dad since the day he left the uh, blur since he left when she was little. Oh, okay, I literally I'm not reading this again. <laughs> literally just read this. What does this all mean? I quickly scanned the remaining pages of the notebook. I must have been looking for something that would prove me wrong about this whole thing. But when I reached the last page, the question mark spinning through my mind just started spinning that much faster. Jazz, baby. It'll get you like that. When I looked at it, unlike the rest of the pocketbook, the writing here was messy, disorganized, scrawled. <laughs> scrawled, even. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What does this mean? I have no idea. Who? How? What? How could this possibly make any sense? <laughs> 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 Who, how, what, when, where, and sometimes why? <laughs> Locker pocketbook has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. So I like to think that this voice that you've been doing the whole time for the narrator voice has just been her dead dad. This whole oh, time. Oh shit. They did that in the green ink too for the notebook. It's right? true. <laughs> look at you go! <laughs> wow, Kyoko, look at you go! <laughs> I'm your father, Sonic! I'm, I'm so proud of you! <laughs> I am so proud of you! Gotta go fast! Now that I'm dead! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, so... <laughs> so, like... Okay, so, like... We know that Kyoko's lying to us, but also it's not the first time... Um, she is one to withhold. That is what she does. So... <sighs> but the more I see... The, the... <laughs> ah, ah, beautiful! <laughs> it's actually it's more... canon! <laughs> it's canon! It's, it's a fucking canon! canon. <laughs> the more I see, the less it makes sense! Because these lockers, I mean, they had to belong to the previous students, right? So why am I seeing this? Why are there things in the lockers that look like they belong to the people here? It's fucking canon. The more you tell him about this, the less he gets it. <laughs> oh, great. Google the Moogler. I've been doing so much talking. Does anyone want to take over from Makoto? If you would like, I can now. I would like. I, I have been kind of quiet. You have been. All right. Because I'm not doing that fucking carol chaining. I'm not. Sorry. <laughs> not doing that. Um, no matter how easy it is. No, I'm not. It's not easy, actually. I, I don't think I got it there. Um. I mean, you weren't far off. <laughs> I wasn't that far off, no. Uh, I'd have to actually, like, know who that really is. Um... <laughs> it would help. I'm kind of lost on the reference. I'm not gonna lie! Um... Uh... A notebook? A notebook? A notebook? A notebook? No. No. Um, Kermit the Frog, no. Makoto? 
Nah, I want to save that for I want to save that for Donald Trump. Um, okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh no, look, that seems like it belongs to Hero. No, not no. That's gonna kill me. That's Monokuma. I'll do that for Monokuma. Um, <laughs> Mads, what's happening? You came right in time for me to fucking struggle to find my identity. Uh, <laughs> oh, yo, 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 yo. Just uh, casually struggling to find my identity. Casually having a midlife crisis about who I am. Uh, um, Snaggletooth and Mads? A notebook, Hi, Snag. A notebook, a notebook that seems like it belongs to hero. No, that's, no, that's going to be hard. I want to do it. It's going to be hard. God damn it. What about your generic... Uh, VO voice. I I don't. Do I have that? It's like left of Taka. Oh, you want me to be my like fucking paladin? You want mm. me to be my fucking like um, soft, like like paladin light. Like <laughs> like all might because I am here. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like it belongs to Hero. <laughs> Are you gonna go with this? I, I can't. I kind of like doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I think this will work out really well for Makoto. Nope, a notebook that seems like it belongs to Hero. And a talking book that seems like it belongs to Kyoko. Ah. <laughs> there has to be some kind of explanation. Hell yeah, Snags. I hope K pop night was geared. <laughs> But if I want to find that out, I have to keep moving the investigation forward. Because I am here. <laughs> Hell yes. There we go. Okay, I think I, I think I'm... Fill me yeah. with your anime determination, Daddy! <laughs> Beckett, what do you call that when you when you say uh, egg roll? What do you call that? What, what is that? You're queuing? Oh, um, it's kind of like a touchstone. Touchstone, that's what you call it. It's like a, it's a place to come back to, like a, like a baseline, like it's a, it's a referential. Okay, yeah. So then I guess, I guess I am here to be my referential. <laughs> <laughs> I am here. Because <laughs> I am here. Very good. <laughs> and I have to believe in everyone. Oh wait, that that worked out pretty well. It's working out. <laughs> <laughs> You've been watching Vincenzo. I haven't seen that or heard of it. I think. I don't know about that one. Um, are these other two lockers gonna be I don't whatever? Remember. Okay, we'll check them. We can just breeze through them real quick. I took the emergency handbook and ran that across the card reader and... Beep! Looks like the locker open! Let's see what we've got inside. Nothing. Makoto noises! <laughs> nope, I don't see anything that could be a clue! Are you trying to read this again? I took the emergency handbook and ran that across the card reader and... Looks like the locker open. Now let's see what we've got inside. Young Midoriya. <laughs> the only thing that might be a clue. <laughs> <laughs> Young Midoriya. Young Midoriya. <laughs> Mads, how you doing, baby? Vincenzo is very good, and that's from someone who avoids watching TV most of the time. Funny and dramatic, and it might have made people cry a bit. Hey, Mads. If you like funny, dramatic, and make people cry, you might like Centaur World. You might also like Squid Game, if you also can stomach lots of violence. Do you think, uh, I think, uh, what do you think, uh, what do you think? You think, you think, uh, you think Kyoko's done being a bitch? I don't think you need to, I think, I think you just need to investigate each different room that you haven't yet. So. Okay, so that's done. Oh yeah, remember they remember he said earlier we gotta investigate the places where the crime took place. We gotta hey. investigate all that shit. All that shit. You could also fast travel. So yeah. Come. Actually, the first thing I'm gonna do is. Oh, let's go to the fourth floor. 
He's okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I started yesterday with Jim in the hospital. Snagger time. Well, well, Jim wasn't in the hospital. I was in the hospital. <sighs> Jim was in the hospital. It's cool. I started watching it yesterday, and I was watching it up until right when the stream started, and I had to jump off for it. Jump off it. That's all right. I think it's like one more. This music. Yeah. No, they go. They go in to let you know, like, hey, we're going to the end, man. We can totally. I just want to play this for a second. I'm sh I'm trying to make a bowl anyway. So brutal, bro. Are you you totally strong, man. Like fucking rock and roll, and are you man. Are people wearing your Miles's characters? Hey? Huh? What? Because Miles took Miles took Makoto, right? Are you gonna take over somebody else, or are you just not talking for a while? I think I just want to take a break from talking <laughs> that that much. <laughs> yeah, you could you could just take away what you want from me if you want to at any point. Yeah, um, yeah. I need to. I, I need, I'm gonna just like chill for a bit and drink some Wawa's, and then I'll jump in in a, in, a, in a few minutes. Okay, well that's fine. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take Hina or uh, Biakia if you'd like to talk to yourself. <laughs> what you're about to do once I enter this room? I'm fine with that. I'm ready when you are. Oh, first of all, we should take here. <clears throat> Cheers! Cheers! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> 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 this is the headmaster's room. I said in my mind. I've heard an awful lot about it, but this will be my first time seeing it for myself. Incidentally, happy 420 somewhere. Dark side of the force. Ah, Makoto! It's you! Whoa! Yakuya! <laughs> oh, hi, Mark! Oh, hi! Hello! I'm guessing it's not gonna let us investigate anything until we talk to him. Unless... <sighs> <laughs> Even in the headbatter's room, there's a surveillance camera. Gotta look at the camera. Okay, let's talk to him. Well, you came to the right place this time. Would you like to see something interesting? I'm not, I'm not gonna yell. <laughs> Action! Action! <laughs> What do you mean, something interesting? <laughs> Take a look at this! It was on top of that pathetically ostentatious desk! Class, class 78? Student registry? Nope. <laughs> Says student roster, bud. Oh god, it's done. Wow. <laughs> Dagoton, this one's actually pretty good though. Like, there's, it's got good character development, trust me, y'all. Like, I, I wouldn't be tooting the horn for nothing. But anyway, it contains profile for all of us and Mukra. So, in other words, apparently, class number 78 refers to us. Wait! When we found Mukuro's profile in Kyoko's room. I see. That's right. It also mentioned class number 78. As I already said, this must be where Kyoko got that bait. Ah. And since the rest of our profiles are listed in there along with hers, There can be no doubt. Mukuro is a student here at Hope Speed Academy, just like the rest of us. Just like us. Mukuro Ikusawa. <coughs> Wait. <coughs> because I am here. Mukuro Ikusawa, the 16th student. That must be how Kyoko learned about it. But it seems that Kyoko was in a hurry. 
Thank you for that um, meds redeem mads. Uh, mads, meds, meds, meds for mads. Meds by mads. Med. If you need to take meds, take your meds. <clears throat> huh? What do you mean? I'm talking about when she stole it. The uneven tearing, the way the paper has been crumpled. She must have been in a hurry. Well, since she's stuck in to get it, I'm sure she wanted to get out as fast as possible. But what's your point? <laughs> she was in so much of a hurry that she only got the first page. The fourth page? <laughs> Correct. Mukuro's profile actually contains two pages. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> whoops, spoilers. So, in other words. <laughs> in other words, when it comes to this profile, there was more information about Mukuro that we still didn't have. <sighs> Please. <laughs> what kind of information is it? Why do you ask me to explain every little thing? You can read, can't you? No, I literally thought the word roster said registry. <laughs> Seems to be some sort of detail before. Put together by the headmaster himself. I don't know what kind of man he was, but I'm glad he left us such an interesting clue. Well, it's half listening to the archive, but skim through the report. Did you want to do this then, or...? Uh, eh. Look what we're doing! We can start running in the background and entity floats! Close, but just out of reach! <laughs> <laughs> Type in the character noise, the entity, as the, uh, the entity known as the ultimate despair. Right now, I can't be sure if this is a single person or some kind of group. Whatever it is, Mukuro definitely has some sort of connection to it. I have a bad feeling about all this. I need to push forward with my research into the ultimate despair. And I need to pay attention to Mukuro's behavior too. Just my gut feeling, but I think she's dangerous. Despite the countless battles she must have gone through as a member of Fenrir. I can't her hope she didn't display any signs of battle wounds or scars. That alone proves her tremendous skill in battle. Actually, I want to believe in her. She's one of my students, after all. If I decide she's a danger to the other students, I would be forced to take all reasonable measures. Mukuro was part of the ultimate despair. I don't think there could be any doubt about it now. But wouldn't that mean Mukuro was a mastermind for allies? So why? Why would they kill Mukuro? Plus, even the headmaster seemed to be afraid of what Mukuro was capable of. They would, have had to, they would have had to take her completely by surprise to kill her like that. Or maybe it means the Mastermind is even stronger than Mukuro was. What's wrong, Makoto? Oh? Huh? You seem to be lost in thought. But I should probably point out one other thing. There's another important bit of information within that file that you should note. What is it? Did you notice the picture in there? A picture of a girl perhaps you've never seen before. Uh-huh. A girl who seems to be included as part of our class number 78. Mm-hmm. That should be enough for you to figure out who the girl is. Well... <sighs> I know Makoto's stupid, but it's literally on a page with Makuro's name on it. Like, do you really need to be an ass? 
and further information about that girl is included in the file. Five foot seven inches, ninety-seven pounds, and an even list of vitals: thirty-one, twenty-two, thirty-two. Her vitals? I think he meant her measurements, and they just right. translated it wrong there. Because <laughs> those are definitely not her vitals. Those are anyway. not vitals of any sort. <laughs> well, what do you think? What do I think? Are you asking me, like, if she has a nice body? <laughs> Those are vital to know her. <laughs> if you don't know my measurements, you don't know me. You hopeless idiot. What I'm trying to tell you is maybe you'll want to keep that in mind for later. Maybe you'll make the way back to the corpse and maybe you'll think, oh, could that mean... Wait, is he trying to say? There's a chance the body isn't actually Bukuro? Is that what he's mm. saying? Personally, what I'm thinking seems all but impossible. But it wouldn't hurt to confirm, right? It's all clear now. That's all I was trying to say. What do you do with that information? Is your business. Time to go measure some bod. So I'm back to being Byakuya's errand boy. Nice. I can't get his, like, thoughtful voice right. Fucking All Might has that, like, ah, oh, like that contemplating in his head voice that's completely different. And I'm, like, mm -hmm. trying to get it, and I'm not getting it. Mugro's profile has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. <laughs> Very good. Look at you go! <laughs> oh, and one last thing. What is it? It's a bit of advice from me to you. Well, I think just you pay attention. Ooh. Anyone, anyone. Oh, fuck, that's right. Action! <laughs> Advice on me? <laughs> Sorry, I missed that one. <laughs> you I'm, I'm missing a lot because I'm, I'm, I'm suddenly, I'm, it's like back in the old days. <laughs> you, seem <to> be, <laughs> you seem to be getting along with Yoko quite well. Do you want to get Biakia to take a for now? It's, uh, you, like I said, you do whatever you want. Otherwise, I'll just do every fucking voice if you tell me to. I'm like, I'm here. I, I, I don't know. Fuck it. I'll do everything. No. That's what you want, Danny. Oh. No. <laughs> well, let's talk. I can't, I can't hear you anymore. You got, uh, did you turn yourself down or something? No. Oh, there you are. I was turned away slightly. I'm trying to clean my glasses. Okay. Right. Yeah. If I okay, caveat though, I don't have much more of this in me. Oh. I mean, we're coming up on three hours, so. Yeah. We'll definitely end soon. I'm ready whatever you are with that, that's fine. You seem to be getting along with Kyoko quite well. It's not that we're getting along, he's just done a lot to help me. Well, don't put too much faith in her. Hmm. Huh? In other words. The cost of that faith might be more than you can afford. What are you saying? Just what I think. Call it a hunch. Uh -huh, uh -huh. A hunch? But my hunches tend to be proven right. The advice is free this time. Take it or don't, as you will. Alright. I'll keep it in mind. Thanks. Yakuya noises. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I mean... We could end it here. We've learned so much already, I feel like. 
Yeah, there's probably like three or four more hours left in this thing anyway. Yeah. Because you still got to investigate a couple more rooms, and then the trial's pretty long because there's a lot of things to reveal. Right, absolutely. A lot so of bombs out here. One or two more sessions after this. What I would like to, well, what I would hope for is that we get to talk to Kyoko about that pocketbook ahead of the trial, but I'm not holding my breath on it. I would, I would love if the game let us do it, though. <laughs> I could do one more scene if you want to try talking to Kyoko again, but you probably have to go and talk to everyone else before her next thing. No, absolutely. No, yeah. I just, I just mean generally, like, ahead of the trial, I hope that we have a chance to talk yeah. to her once more. Yeah. That makes because sense. I can see her doing her Kyoko fucking shit and just disappearing from now until then. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know? Um, she do be like that. <laughs> she do be like that. Um, all right, so we want to... Uh, she was saying that you're good to, like, maybe investigate this room and then and then one more. I'm down yeah. for whatever you are. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's figure out what's going on here. <clears throat> Oh, fuck. Sorry. Class number 78. Student registry. Apparently, that's us. There's profiles on me and everyone I met at the beginning. And Mukuro. Just like us, Mukuro was apparently a new student here at Hope's Peak. Okay, we've looked at her shit already. Maybe we can look at someone else's. Mukuro Ikusaba, part of the ultimate despair means her and the Mastermind should have been allies. But then, why would the Mastermind kill her? Weren't they friends? Weren't they friends? Firenze. Oh, hold up. Is friends? This, is this what I think? Or enemies. There are trophies and even a shield in the display case. Oh, okay. Apparently it's not what the fuck is this deal? Huh? I don't see no field there. Yeah, so this? No Maybe? That is that a field? I truly don't it know. Could be. It's hard to tell. Oh, weird ass. Okay, anyway. No way. No, uh, that looks like a headdress or something. Something, yeah, you're right. I think they meant to say sword. Maybe. They were rushing at this point. <laughs> For real. Got the mail room in here. <laughs> the bookshelf seems really well made, and it's filled with files and thick books. That's how I like my books. Uh, how? <laughs> real thick. Makoto's lying. He's never seen a shelf in his life. There's no clue if it's well made. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Yes. There are documents scattered all over the floor. Somehow it makes me feel anxious. Uh, yeah, it's good. There's documents scattered all over the floor. Pick, pick them up, goddammit. Even in the headmaster's room, there's a monitor. Alright, well, that seems like that's it for here. All right. Okay. We'll move on then. Okay. Let's go. So we went to the fourth floor, the bio lab on the fifth floor. I think Hina's there. Monokuma door in the data center on the floor. Oh no, that's where Hina is. And the second floor, okay, so we did that. So we can either stay here and go to the data center or go up to the fifth floor and the bio lab. And then also underneath that, it said something else, too. Oh, yes. Garden in the dojo. Yeah, so you gotta, you gotta investigate all that before you even get to the shit about the trial at all, you know? Yeah. Oh, this. Oh. Have we been to the bio lab yet? I'm not sure. Sean! 
Sean? 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 You, there is a very important piece of information that I need to share with you. Oh yeah, we gotta go there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, don't say we anything. Go there. I'm, just, I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna show it to you, baby. Oh, what a well-timed question, uh, Mushroom. Thank you, Sean. Are you being a croissant right now? I was. I was in shrimp mode. I was fully hunched over and off to the side. So not just like a forward hunch, but also a lean. Nice forward hunch lean. Very attractive. Very in this season. <laughs> very in. Yes, <laughs> you did also miss Miles saying, "Bitch, I'm fresh out of the ER. I don't know what the fuck is going on." <laughs> uh, so Wasn't that the beginning. That wasn't the very was that, beginning. Like, the beginning of the stream. <laughs> it was. So, Sean, I know that... No, I'm on a bus. <laughs> you can't be hunched on a bus? Um, I know that uh, for the longest time there was a big mystery within this game uh, that you in particular were very interested in solving. And I wanted to show you that we've solved the mystery of what's inside the big locker by the pool. It's a giraffe! <laughs> it's an alien it's a goddamn giraffe! It's an alien. That's why it's so big. <laughs> Hold on, let, that, let their stream lag catch up. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> you should check the VOD later for how much they freaked out over the first time they saw it. Yes, it was kind of a big fucking deal. <laughs> Um, okay. Anyways. <laughs> Let's get back into the game here. Let's go to the fifth floor, huh? All of our questions have been answered now. There's no more mystery. No more no mysteries. We know about the giraffe. That's the Dao Jiao. Can't fool us, bitch. We saw That's your giraffe! I love him. Question answered. Raw! Raw! I'm bummed. Oh, baby, I like it. Oh, oh baby, oh, I like it. Oh, 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 oh baby. Well, I'm baby. satisfied, but you literally don't ever have to watch this game ever again. We'll, <laughs> let, you know, we'll, let, you, we'll let you know when two starts. <laughs> well, here I am in the bio lab. It's so cold! Like, abnormally cold. I feel like I'm in a giant refrigerator. <sighs> yes, I did. Could it possibly be? I Never did mind that I am. But anyway, I did read "giant refrigerator" as partially giraffe for a moment. <laughs> giraffe refrigerator. Giraffe refrigerator. Giraffe refrigerator. I'm up in this giraffe refrigerator. <laughs> it definitely sounds like some kind of crazy '90s toy. Like a fucking <laughs> giraffe that you wear on your hand and like shoot missiles for no reason. <laughs> giraffe Raider, Giraffe Raider, it's got an extendo neck. Giraffe Raider. Eight to five and love, and it's open to an hour. Why is it so cold? Stupular, uh, dude. <laughs> Seriously, why is it so cold? <laughs> I mean, God. What? Who likes, the who likes heck the is this? All? You didn't get any surgery? Yo, can we make this a thing, that? Oh, someone's got a design to giraffe a giraffe raider. <laughs> giraffe raider has no search results. There's a stack of tarts here. I don't know if you noticed, but there's a stack of tarts here. I've been seeing a lot of those things lately. <laughs> What's going on here? Ugh, so cold! Why is it so cold in here? That's the first thing I need to figure out. Just wrap a tarp around yourself. You'll be fine. <laughs> Couldn't possibly have anything to do with these. It's some kind of weird machine or something built into the wall. I've seen something like this before. 
Oh, that's it. I've seen this kind of thing in horror movies and stuff. It's a fridge for throwing dead bodies. Does that mean the bio lab is actually a morgue? Oh, uh, the car noises. <laughs> Probably take a closer look around. Now that I am here, <laughs> I'll get to the bottom of this. Time to design a giraffe glove that shoots nipples. Ah! This Makoto gives me Zap Brannigan vibes. Hell yes. <laughs> Zap Brannigan. Oh god, that works too. There's some kind of weird machine or something built into the wall. And on the left side, there's a bunch of glowing blue lights. No, nah, but only some of the lights are on. The one's on the left. Makoto? You know, those lights. And the on the left. He literally said, on the left, there's glowing lights. There are lights on, on the left side. I the one's on the left. You know. I the left of the room. hate it here. <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> the left lights on the left. Only the left lights are on. The right hand wipes are off. So. Go to hell, Makoto. I hope you die. <laughs> I wish Alter Ego hadn't saved you. Uh, there are icicles hanging from the monitor. I'm surprised the surveillance camera can work with how cold it is in here. Hi, Ray. Hello, hey, Ray. Ray. Now, now that Ray is here. Oh, there's some kind of booklet here. Now that he understands why it's cold in here, he can take in literature. It looks like an instruction manual. Yeah, because by understanding that why it's cold in here, he lost twice as much data from his brain cells. So now he has the room to put some more stuff in and then <laughs> must lose even more in the process. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, all right. We offer an eco-friendly alternative and standard dry ice for all your cadaver needs. In addition to the germicidal lamp, we also provide an ozone generator for the removal of ethylene gas. Ethylene gas. <laughs> you had it. You had it so fine. I did. <laughs> and then gas just Literally, gas just evaporated. <laughs> <laughs> your mouth. Your mouth was like ethylene. Fine. Germicidal. Good to go. Gas. Fuck you. I ran out of gas. You, you ran out of gas. I ran out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this will insert the cadaver and a blue light will- Oh, wrong word. Simply insert the cadaver and a blue light will let you know the automated system has been activated. You gonna lie? Didn't notice the difference between those two before you fucked them up. Oh, good. <laughs> Temperature and humidity levels will be adjusted automatically for optimum settings. With our system, anyone can keep your body fresh as a daisy for as long as you need. In the unlikely event of a problem, the red light will activate an alarm will sound immediately! 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 The exterior is stainless steel, and we do offer an optional leather upholstery upgrade package. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Not you, Sean. <laughs> this is... The instruction manual for the fridge? <laughs> he stopped understanding that he felt cold by having it explained. Exactly. <laughs> He's warm now! <laughs> Well, looking around, I think I get it. It seems clear to me now. It's some kind of makeshift morgue. Ah, okay. I keep thinking this is going to be you. I have a secret as an end of the truthful inspection of the handbook. And about those lights by each slot. It looks like it's set up so that when a spot is occupied, the blue light comes on. Which would mean inside each spot lit up in blue. Hmm. Two, four, six, eight, nine, because there's another one on the on there, unless it's uh ten eleven. Another one of the victims is Wild Lab Life has been added to the truthful section of your handbook. 
The Kodo noises. <laughs> I can't let my emotions take control right now. There's only one thing I can do for everyone who's died. And that's... DEFEAT THE MASTERMIND! Now that I'm here... Now that I am here... <laughs> it'll be done! For sure! <laughs> to do that, I have to continue my investigation. I don't have any other option! My neighbors must hate me! So let's see, two, four, six, eight, nine... There's 16 students. This, oh, you're right. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16. This can't be everyone's body, though, because, for example, uh, Celeste was burnt up. And... Maybe not completely. You know, there's still bones left behind when someone's body burned. I suppose. So you, th so this is just like all the everyone's body that died here. You could whatever, whatever's like left behind, you know. Has it really mm -hmm. been nine students that have died? You know this, didn't you? Uh. Just <laughs> let you know. It really has been that many, hasn't it? What was the biker dude's name? Uh, Mondo. Mondo. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. And I'm missing someone. Damn, okay. It's, I think it's nine. I'm pretty sure it's nine. Oh, and Mukuro Ikusaba, that's the ninth person. That's what I'm forgetting. Ah, uh, yeah, it's, um... Sayaka, Junko, Leon, Chihiro, Celeste, Hifumi, Taka, Mondo, and, uh, Mukuro. Oh, and Sakura! And Sakura. Yeah, oh. I was waiting for you to oh. know them. So, Shit. so, so it should be 10, right? It should be 10. However. Okay, so where the fuck- so it has to be- it has to be, uh, Mukuro's body that's not in here. Because she's the last who died. Is it, is her body still, hold on. I just want to check. I think I'm done here, but I just want to check. What goes on the fourth floor? I, no, it's the fifth floor. Not the Jojo. But, uh... Where's the fucking plant- Oh, the garden. The plant room, Ryan. <laughs> the plant room. The plant room, you know. You know, the plant room. And you gotta check the dojo, too, apparently. At some point. Lumi, how dare you try to bring in reverse math into this whole thing. <laughs> Makoto noises! I am here. Um. <laughs> oh. Hmm. The bod's gone. Oh. It's gone. Mukuro's body. It's not here. Okay. Let's leave it on this cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's really good. Beautiful. Holy shit. Holy Beautiful. shit. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that we got to have that moment. <laughs> Thanks for kind of keeping your mouth shut there, Miles. I just, I wanted you to find, I wanted you to realize it for sure. Oh, you're so good to me. That's a good, that's a, that's a good thing to keep in mind. That there should be 10 bodies. I'm, I'm really turned on in like a friend kind of way. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, baby, you make me so hot. Your deductions and your withholdings. <laughs> your withholdings just turn me on in a friendly way. Oh, <laughs> edging my intellect, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Which is that edging my intellect? <laughs> no! 
<laughs> if you could see my face right now. <laughs> I'm assuming that Sean is just horrified of the things we've been saying. <laughs> In a perfect world, Sean is laughing hysterically on a bus with, with no apparent uh, uh, stimulus to do so. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, Miles, Nanners, thanks for sticking this out. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> lovely. Um, jokes on you. I'm home now. Fuck. Um, oh dang, we didn't embarrass you in public. Dag. Um. Good. If I'm gonna be some help next week, are you gonna be somewhere else? We gotta get we gotta get as many people as we can for that trial, baby. Yes, we do. Do we have someone to raid? I've not even looked. Let me check. Uh, uh, my friend State of Crisis is watch is watching is playing uh Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. Nice. Um, I am Jeff is playing Paper Mario. That's a cool one. Uh, I'm trying to see who else is on. Dank Madness, isn't that? That's uh, Moby's Kid. That's Moby's Kid. Spooky yeah. Sprinkles is on. Oh, he's doing. He's Spooktober Day 4. Deceit is a good game. I don't know what Deceit is, actually. I don't know either. Deceit or Dat Seat, though. <laughs> 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 let's go su let's go support the the fungus child the fungus child okay that works. at the dank madness there you go it's it looks like some type of fps oh there's cool. a generator there's a big scary monster which just came up and wrapped him in vi virus spreading okay so this looks pretty spooky Cool. Oh, uh, Kaz, thank you so much for hosting us and giving us a space to run this. Again, Miles Nanners, thank you for uh, doing this with me today. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, you for that, thank you for that takeover of Makoto. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. That was so good. <laughs> we'll see. You, we'll see y'all next week, and hopefully, we'll figure out what the fuck is going on here. Yeah. Unlikely, but we'll try. <laughs> <laughs>